Okay, in the last video, we talked about uh, your energy needs. So let's talk a little bit about um, biochemical engineering. So the hidden currency that you have in your body are vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. These are things that your body can't make. Um, and these are things that we need to give the body because now that we understand how the body prioritizes energy, let's look at the raw materials that make this entire system possible in the first place. And that's your micronutrients. So think of vitamins, minerals, amino acids as the tiny spark plugs and gears inside every cell. They don't just help you survive, they determine how efficiently your body turns food into energy, repairs tissue, and keeps you in balance. So every single metabolic pathway from making ATP to your mitochondria, uh, in your mitochondria, to producing neurotransmitters in your brain, depends on these micronutrients. So why do we poo-poo them? Like, oh, you don't need vitamins, you don't need minerals. Of course you do. Without them, your metabolism slows, and detoxification backs up, and your body starts running in low power mode. So why isn't food alone enough, especially anymore? So you might think, well, I eat a healthy diet, I should be fine. A lot of my clients are like, I don't wanna take supplements, I don't need to take supplements, I've been fine for 50 years, uh, whatever. But here's the problem. The nutritional density of our food today isn't what it was even just 50 years ago. So if your parents did fine, right? Well, for 50 years of their lives, they had pretty decent food to, to deal with. Um, for most of your life, if you're 50 or younger, um, you've had depleted soils, processed food, chronic stress, environmental toxins, and even the medications that you take are all draining your micronutrient reserves. And if your mitochondria are already under stress from aging, uh, inflammation or oxidative damage, your requirements are actually going up, not down. So while you might technically meet the government minimum requirements, those numbers only represent what's needed to basically not die, right? So to avoid disease uh, and not die. But that's not what you need to optimize, fun uh, to function optimally. Um, we're not trying to prevent scurvy, right? We're trying to engineer vitality at, at Philly Wellness Center. So, you know, it, you need vitamin C. Without vitamin C, you do get scurvy, you die. Uh, and that's a huge, like, extreme case, right? But what about all of the cases in between you know, not getting scurvy and, you know, what does vitamin C do inside the body? Are you getting adequate amounts of it? So this is why supplementation becomes essential. So to operate in a perpetual state of health where energy focus and recovery are consistent, then your cells are gonna need a constant reliable source of vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. And, you know, that even our ancestors didn't have that, right? Like they didn't have a consistent balance of, vitamins, minerals, and amino acids every single day. And you could argue that point and, and sure, but you know, they're all dead and we're talking about perpetual health. So if you're interested in biochemical engineering for perpetual health, uh, which means your tissue doesn't break down, um, then that's what we're, we're talking about. And that's why supplementation isn't about replacing food, it's about enhancing precision. So it ensures your mitochondria, hormones, and detox pathways have exactly what they need every day without relying on a fluctuating diet or a stressed out digestive system. So for example, magnesium itself powers over 300 enzymatic reactions, but most people are deficient. So what happens to those ends that they don't happen? That's what happens. And what happens if they don't happen? Well, there's a whole cascade of uh, things that happen. B vitamins drive methylation, which are critical for detox and hormone balance. What if you don't have B vitamins? Well, then you don't get you know, your, your methylation, you don't get detox, your hormones get out of whack, uh, you have a lack of energy. Amino acids like lysine and carnitine rebuild tissue and feed mitochondria. Well, what if you don't have carnitine? Well, then you don't use fatty acids as a fuel source and you're highly dependent on glucose and then you store fatty acids as triglycerides as, as fat tissue. So those are the things that happen when these things don't exist. And, you know, are you going to fall apart if you don't have carnitine one day? No, absolutely not. You'll be fine. And, you know, I've seen people walking around with critically low carnitine levels for years, then, you know, they're fine, right? But they're not optimal and they get sick and they get fat and they have all kinds of issues. So, I mean, you could certainly argue that you don't need to do this. And if you don't want to supplement, that's, you know, completely up to you. But if you're looking for something else, you don't want to end up like your parents, you don't want to have disease and, and chronic issues, then supplementation becomes really important. And then trace uh, minerals like zinc, selenium, and iodine are what keep your thyroid immunity and metabolism high. So um, 
the, the next evolution of health that we're talking about here, we're not just supplementing, we are biochemically engineering health. So this means creating the right internal environment where every enzyme has a cofactor. Imagine that, like all your enzymatic <laughs> processes can happen, right? Every cell has a nutrient supply and every system runs in harmony. So we're no longer reacting to disease, we're proactively designing health at the molecular level. So think of it like high tuning, like tuning a high performance engine, not just filling the tank, but calibrating every spark, every gear, every fuel line, to deliver maximum output with minimal waste. And you th can think about your car, right? Like if you use low premium gas in your car, it still runs, yeah. You know, it, it'll st you'll still get a life out of it. You still might get 100,000 miles out of it, but imagine you get 500,000 miles out of your car or, you know, just by maintaining it. And there's, there's lots of cars that have been out there for, for a long time. Um, and they, um, just by keeping up, the maintenance on that car or your house or whatever. I mean, my house has been around since 1850, right? So there's other houses that have been around from 1500. And then there's other houses that just fall apart within a couple of years of being built. So, you know, it's all about how well you take care uh, of your domicile. And we're talking about your internal domicile at this point. So perpetual health isn't luck. Um, it's the result of a consistent biochemical support delivered through targeted nutrition, strategic supplementation, and lifestyle alignment. And when you combine energy prioritization with nutrient optimization, the body shifts from barely coping to consistently performing. So you're not chasing balance. You become balance, right? That's what biochemical engineering means. And when we're designing a body that runs on its own perpetual source of health.